Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to give you a tour of my finally finished office craft room and give you some really fun DIY office decor ideas. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, it makes me feel so special that you come and watch my videos. Today I want to give you a little mini tour of my finally finished office craft room craft room. This place was an absolute disaster a few weeks ago. Um, it had kind of been compiling over the past few years and I finally organized it and made it pretty and I just wanted to share it with you today. I also want to share three uh, DIY office decor ideas with you. I hope you'll like them. They're really easy, they're really quick and they're just some fun ways to spice off, up your own office decor. I also want to show you my brand new office chair. I'll give you a closer look at it later. It's my first real lady boss chair. I don't have to use my dining room chairs or my kitchen chairs anymore. It's comfy, it's awesome. I found it at The Brick and I'm gonna leave a link below this video on where you can find it as well. And I'm really excited to give you the grand tour. So let's get on to my office craft room tour. Welcome to my office craft room in our DIY house. When we built our home, I knew that I wanted to have a craft room office on our main floor. Just something that I could easily access when the kids were home and I wanted to keep an eye on them. But I also wanted to do some work on my computer or on my sewing machines at home. So here we have the full sort of 360. You can see one side is dedicated for my computer desk and the other side is dedicated for my sewing desk. Here's my computer desk and you can see this upcycled filing cabinet here and I will share the link to the DIY on that below. Here's the first DIY I want to show you today. It's this beautiful gold dipped jar that I'm using for my writing utensils. So all you have to do to make this is take some painter's tape and mask the parts of the jar that you do not want to be gold. So here I am just going to spray paint the bottom quarter of my jar with gold spray paint. So I'm masking off everything else. Then grab a can of metallic gold spray paint, shake it and start spraying the bottom of your jar. I like to use long even strokes and it's better to have lots of light coats rather than one big coat that will give you a nice even finish. So spray your jar and then let it dry. After your jar is dry, you can remove the painter's tape. And when you're finished, you have a lovely little gold dip jar. These are fantastic for any desk. You could stick scissors, pens, pencils, all sorts of things in this little jar on your desk. Now moving back to my office, you can see my beautiful new office chair. This is my first office chair ever. I love it, it's so comfortable. It's called the Bexley Swivel Chair from The Brick and one of the reasons why I picked this particular chair is because of its really sleek modern shape and also because it rolls across the floor so I can easily roll it from my computer desk to my sewing desk and I just removed the area rug altogether from this space so that I could easily move my chair from one side to the other. I love the stitching detail and I love that it's just nice and crisp and sleek and modern. Another little DIY I want to show you today is this fun little artwork that I have on my pegboard wall. By the way, you can just uh, click on the link below this video to see how I made this pegboard. But to make this art, all I did was grab some fabric that I loved and I traced out the shape of my frame onto the fabric with just a piece of paper and a pen. Then I cut out my fabric. And finally, I placed my fabric in its proper size into my frame. You might need a little bit of cardboard backing between the frame and the back of the, or rather between the art and the back of the picture frame to make it stay. And that's it, you have some really cute custom artwork for your room. One of the things I did with my room was I folded all my fabric. I just used a cardboard template in the size of my shelf to make my fabric folded in the correct size and it makes a huge difference in the look of my space. 
Again, this is the DIY filing cabinet that I made. It was a gross old filing cabinet and I just used some chalk style paint and some new hardware to make it look new. The curtains are DIY as well and I will also leave a link to how to make these curtains below. I really love the fabric here. It's really playful, it's really bright and it just adds some more fun and some texture and some color into my office craft room which I find really inspiring. I have a little organizer over my sewing desk and that holds lots of my thread. I also have um, just some other sorts of items there and I love having things up and off my desks because I really want a nice clean areas to work. On the top of my shelf I have some more storage boxes and some fabric bolts. And on this side of the room you can see my desk as well as my new fabric colored bulletin board. This is also one last DIY I want to show you today. It's so simple and it makes such a big impact to an office space. So first all you need to do is take an old bulletin board and just paint the border of your bulletin board with chalk style paint or any kind of acrylic paint that you have just to give it a punch of color. So here I'm painting the frame with fat paint and blushing bombshell. Next, cut a piece of fabric that's approximately two inches longer and two inches higher than your bulletin board and then iron over each side about one inch. Lay the piece of fabric on top of your bulletin board and if you need to adjust the folds at all, that's no problem, you can do it in the next step. Next, you're going to grab some upholstery tacks. I've just used some um, brass colored tacks and you're going to tack each corner just kind of pulling and stretching the fabric as you go and then put tacks in the middle of each side and then put tacks in the spaces between. Now you can measure this and make it accurate but I kind of just eyeballed it and I like how it looks. After you've done all your tacks, you can hang your beautiful fabric colored covered bulletin board up and it's all done. Thank you so much for coming along with me today on my office craft room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some ideas on how to make your own home office more fun and more personal for your own space and your own lifestyle. Thank you so much to The Brick for providing me with this gorgeous little office chair and come back next week for another video. See you later. For more tutorials, please visit the DIYMommy.com and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.